When Lucas got to hold his baby sister for the first time, he didn't mind that he was a different color from her, but he noticed something strange on her arm. When he looked closer, he found something surprising. Adam and Paisley tried to have a baby for almost 10 years, but couldn't. So they decided to adopt. The adoption agency thought they would be great parents. When Lucas was born and needed a family, they were chosen to be his parents. Lucas became their son, and they raised him with love. He looked like Adam, so most people didn't know he was adopted. The family was happy, but Lucas wanted a sibling. One day, the adoption agency called them about a pregnant girl who wanted to give her baby up for adoption. They had a meeting to talk about adopting the baby girl. There was little hesitation in the loving parents' hearts. It felt like the answer to their question was provided even before they had the time to weigh all the pros and cons. When they told Lucas about the prospect, his excitement and joy sealed the deal for them. No matter the circumstances and whether it was a boy or a girl, they were ready to adopt another child. The next morning, while waiting for the social worker to meet with them, both Adam and Paisley were nervously excited. They understood that the circumstances around the birth of their baby might not be ideal, and often there were certain aspects of the children's backgrounds that could make the adoption a little more complicated. But they were prepared to deal with whatever life would throw their way. The family of three was excited to become four. Sharon Anderson opened the file after inquiring about Lucas and the family. The social worker explained that the young girl was still in school and when she felt pregnant, her parents were furious with her as she had hidden her growing bump from them for a very long time. The girl wanted to give the baby up for adoption, but her mother wanted her to keep the baby and raise it in her family home. As the family's circumstances were anything but ideal, the girl stuck to her decision. This resulted in the mother kicking her out of the house. She was staying in a safe house until she gave birth. Despite the devastating circumstances of the pregnancy, the couple felt blessed to have the opportunity to extend their family. However, there were a few other facts to be discussed before the decision could be finalized. The birth mother wanted to relinquish all rights to the baby and never have any future contact. The adoptive parents had to agree that they would never try to find the birth mother or have any contact with her or her family. Although these conditions were a little harsh, both Paisley and Adam were willing to adhere to them. Then the social worker had to deal with the last aspect of the adoption. She had to reveal to the couple that the baby girl was indeed going to be black. Despite this revelation being a little shocking and unexpected, there was no hesitation about the next step. The couple wanted to adopt the little girl, even if she would look completely different from her parents and her little brother. They were ready to sign on the dotted line to formalize their intent to adopt. The good news was that the baby was due in just about three weeks, so the couple were urged to prepare their son for his new sister. Seeing that he had been the center of attention for the past six years, the social worker thought that he might have difficulties adapting to the idea of having a sibling. Adam and Paisley did not expect any resistance, but were wise enough to know that preparation was an excellent idea. As expected, little Lucas was over the moon at the prospect of finally having a sibling. His parents thought it wise to share with him that his new sister would be black, but the thought did not seem to bother him at all. He was doing his part to help prepare the baby's room and was even willing to sacrifice some of his favorite toys to welcome his sister into their lives. When the call came that the young woman was in labor, the couple were requested to be on standby as they would be requested to take possession of the baby girl as soon as she was delivered. From that moment on, the family was on edge. They could not do anything else as their thoughts and minds were preoccupied with anticipation. Paisley would stay in the hospital for a day or two with their newborn girl just to make sure that everything was in order. The moment Joy was placed into Paisley's arms was bittersweet. With both Adam and Lucas at her side, everyone was overwhelmed by the moment. They knew that their baby girl was about to say goodbye forever to the woman who had brought her into the world. But at the same time, they knew they would give her the best life she could ever have with an adoptive family. After the whole family fawned over the baby for almost two hours, it was time for Adam and Lucas to go home. They kissed mom and baby sister on their foreheads and promised to be back for visiting hours the next day. With all the emotions and excitement, Paisley fell into a deep sleep with her little baby girl next to her bed. Nurses came and went, and mostly Paisley was unaware of who entered and left the room. She did not respond to any sounds except for when Joy needed attention. She had forgotten how exhausting it was to look after a newborn, but her heart was filled with joy. The next morning, during visiting hours, Lucas could not wait to hold baby Joy. 
His parents wrapped the tiny bundle tightly in a blanket and handed her to him. He held his little sister in his arms while sitting on a chair. Paisley was amazed at the caring demeanor her son displayed towards the baby. It was also clear that he had no problem with her being black. When Joy started crying, the parents wanted to intervene, but Lucas started rocking his little sister in his arms and she immediately started to calm down. It seemed like she was also a little warm and Lucas started unwrapping the blanket under the supervision of his parents. But then, this older brother noticed something strange and unexpected on his baby sister's arm. Look, Dad, what's that thing on Joy's arm? The boy was about to make a startling discovery. Adam saw the big plaster and was about to dismiss it as covering an injection wound when he noticed some metal object bulging underneath it. On closer inspection, he came upon a small device resembling that of a microchip. Paisley and Adam looked at each other. They were deeply concerned that something sinister was going on. While Adam and Paisley were still thinking about what to do, Sharon Anderson came. There were some papers to sign before Paisley and the baby could leave the hospital. Joy was healthy and ready to go home. When they told Sharon about the strange thing on the baby's arm, she was worried too. Sharon asked Paisley and Lucas to stay with the baby. She praised Lucas for noticing things well and said he would protect his sister. Then she asked Adam to help her check the hospital's security footage. They watched the footage and saw a black woman outside Paisley's room the night before. She didn't look at the camera. Later, a nurse came and the black woman gave her something small. The nurse went into the room and a few minutes later, she left. It was hard to find out who the nurse was, but they managed it with some smart investigation. Luckily, the woman was quickly identified. The social worker thought it wise to involve the police to find out what had happened the evening before and what the microchip device was all about. The nurse involved would return to work during the evening shift and then the police would be waiting for her. Paisley and Joy were dismissed from the hospital and Adam was asked to take his family home while remaining vigilant that nobody was following them. The police officer promised to contact them the next day to give feedback. When the nurse was apprehended and interrogated that evening, Paisley and Adam could hardly sleep. Lucas wasn't ready to let go of his sister, so the whole family snuggled up in the same bed. As the early morning rays of the sun appeared over the horizon, Paisley dozed off for the first time, only to be reawakened a few minutes later by the ringing of Adam's cell phone. It was the police officer from the previous day. What he was about to reveal seemed like a scene from a suspense movie, the officer said. You will not believe what happened. As soon as we cornered the nurse and confronted her with the camera footage, she sang like a canary. She confessed to everything. It was her who put the strange microchip device on Joy's arm. She tried to conceal it with a band-aid. The chip was indeed a small tracking device. Adam and Paisley felt scared as the police officer talked. The nurse admitted that the black woman in the hallway was Lucas's grandma. She wanted to meet her grandchild desperately. The nurse agreed to help her by putting a secret tracking device on the baby. Lucas noticed it, and because of him, they didn't take the baby home. The grandma didn't like the adoption and planned to find out where they lived. She even wanted to take the baby away from Adam and Paisley. It was surprising and upsetting for the family. They just wanted to help, but they had to go through a lot. Even though Adam and Paisley understood the grandma's feelings, they knew they had to protect their baby. They were glad they found out about the plan and could keep their names secret. They were thankful for Lucas, who noticed the problem even though he was only six years old. He was already looking out for his little sister. What do you think of this story? Let us know in the comments section. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Also press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. Thank you.